Good afternoon everyone. It's Living the Good Life and I have a garage sale finds video for you. This is part four of the $40 jewelry haul that I uh, found at a single garage sale back before we all got into quarantine. So <laughs> this is the um, jewelry finds that keeps on giving. So I've got, I'm going to get pan down, I've got this finds and one more of the gold finds. And then I've got a couple more finds after that. I'm trying to space it out and give you all something uh, each, every few days, just something to look at. Because if you're anything like me, you're just searching everywhere for something to fill in the time and to mentally stimulate you. So here we go. Um, I found two of these Omega style um, sterling silver necklaces. Trying to get where you can see that. Mexico DDD925. Uh, it weighs 20 grams and it's from Dominique de Nuart. And but I couldn't find anything on them. And this second one here is a little thicker, but it only weighs 19 grams and it's marked S's and Sam X925 Mexico. So nothing really on them. Then on this one, and you know, there there's no mark that I could find on it. But I started thinking, you know, I wonder if that's Joan Rivers. And it was. So it's a little enameled egg. It is very heavy for the size. And none of the ones that I could find had this gold chain with the little uh, pearls interspersed. But I think that makes it look really nice. Um, these are going anywhere from $25 to $37 for the pendant. Or, you know, with just a chain attached. I think one of the better things that I found in this group, not really realizing what it was so much, is this Michael Dawkins um, sterling silver pearl, you know, culture pearl, and four with 14 karat gold accents. And here's the clasp. Thank goodness they make this easy on you. So, or if I can turn it. Ah, there it is. get it for you but it's not one to do it not really keeps turning Michael Dawkins so anyways that's what that is you can see it's really pretty uh, I found three sales of this exact same necklace one for 50 one for 75 and one for 80 and then I'm gonna pan down here and I'm gonna mention that somebody said hey this looks like it was a watch fob at one point maybe they somebody put on a a new uh, clasp on it I went ahead and checked it and these links do a test for sterling silver and when I tested these little gold sections they tested for 10 karat gold but I just really don't know how much I trust that if that might not just be heavily gold plated instead either way I think I got something neat um, here we go for the rings <clears throat> uh, this one says 925 FAS sterling it's floral i thought i had seen something like this before but i could find nothing about it then we have this um ati mexico 925 uh with, with red jasper i have the hardest time trying to show you all the marks just a second look at that for a minute <laughs> find it instead of flipping through things forever here we go ATI Mexico um, I really thought that that color really attracted me and I thought oh it'll be easy to find something on it nope not so much uh, so we can expect something around $20 for that then there's this um, where's this at Peridot there's this green peridot, and again, it's not marked, sterling silver, except 925, has this scrolling on the sides, and this one looks like the peridot uh, sterling rings are only selling between the $8 to $15 mark. Uh, I'm going to kind of go back here a little bit. 
I found this, I thought, oh, that looks so nice, you know. There's not a single mark on it anywhere, but it looked really nicely made. So I finally got around to testing it, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you here. Let me go again, wait a minute. So right here on the edge, I repeatedly scratched it, came up with nothing, and you can see kind of a yellowish tone underneath. So... I just think it's costume jewelry and it's just is a really pretty ring. So nothing on that. Uh, here's a little uh, Irish toe ring, sterling silver. And these are spelled C-L-A-D-D-A-G-H. They're going for seven to $12. And I did not search out that term to be able to tell you what that was. I had high hopes that this was a gold ring, but it's actually sterling silver. And it is uh, marked MC925 Sterling. It has this little heart design. Couldn't really find anything on that. This is my very first piece of George Jensen. I've been hearing about George Jensen since the 90s. Um, obviously, that was probably for more for this flatware and other Sterling pieces. But I finally found my own piece of George Jensen. It was in that big box of rings. Uh, and it was marked Sterling, George Jensen Sterling, and then it has 89. And there was actually a ring uh, like this selling. And it is, let's see, there's a bid for $73 for this ring. And I think it's going to run in the $100 to $125 arena. This and again, if you remember, there was a necklace, there were earrings that had this color stone, and I guess I finally got to the ring on it, and let's see if I can find this one. Oh, couldn't find anything on that one, I guess. Okay, this one is a little sterling silver. Um, M initial ring and I apologize I've gotten out of sequence here I guess I think this says keepsakes yes keepsakes sterling and there was one exactly like that selling on um, online and Oh, gracious, where is it at? $13.50. That was it. Uh, again, another one of these little fish rings from Thailand. Couldn't find anything on that. Another lovely um, red jasper ring. And it says ATI Mexico as well. So $20. Found this one. It has all these pastel, almost mother of pearl looking um stones for lack of a better word uh enamel and it is marked 925 l s's and sam thailand couldn't find anything on that and let's see this last thing is this one it is marked j uh, it looks really weird it looks like a backwards c and then a backwards three you know, back up to each other. S-T-E-R, monogram ring, and uh, these are selling anywhere from $12 to $27. Okay, I think that's it on the rings. And I'm going to go over here to this red jasper and sterling. Again, A-T-I, earrings. Too bad the ring doesn't... Neither one of these rings actually fit me, but I can wear the pendants and the and these um, earrings, so that will that will work okay. Sometimes rings make my fingers swell because they just feel tight. Um, and this one is, let me look. Those are anywhere from ten to twenty dollars. No, oh, around twenty dollars is that one. Okay, and then we have this. This is a. I thought, oh, it's going to be gold. It's going to be gold. No, it's not. Thailand, 925. 
and it looks to be garnets and it has this sterling with the gold wash on it and it is anywhere from 10 to 38 dollars for garnet pendants i couldn't find anything much like that then we have here is the um very large as you can see or at least long i think it's on the inside here the bale so it would be hard to see uh, this is the red jasper pendant and these are 10 to $20. Uh, here is um, something that looks a little unassuming, but it's actually a good, really good thing. This says uh, IC Sterling. It's coral inset pendant. It's from Irvin Chi. He's Navajo. And it sells anywhere from $26 to $70 um, for this, this type of pendant. So somebody paid $70 and somebody paid $20. So maybe somewhere in the middle. Let's see what else we have. Um, these are 925. Looks kind of like a red coral. Couldn't find anything on that. And then we have this, which is an ATI Mexico arti uh, reticulated, articulated, whatever you want to call it, um, pendant. But I couldn't find it, but I found a pair of earrings online. And they're selling anywhere from $15.50 to $17.50. Let's see. I've also got this wavy. And it's really pretty heavy. 925 sterling. There is a little mark there, but I cannot tell what that says, even with a strong loop. And um, that says um, 925 Thailand. And I think it'd be around $28 for some of the things that I see. This is a... Um, ATI 925 Mexico Moon and Sun um, and Stone earrings, and I think that they would be around uh, $25. I've got a little uh, bracelet here that says Sterling. Don't know much about it. I, I have this earring, in it, this um, excuse me, charm bracelet. It's got this magnetic clasp. I can't find anything on it, but all the charms. Um, say 925 and most of them are sterling. There's a unicorn, a purse that's hinged, a ladybug, a bone, and a little bird. And most of these say HMV uh, or one of them says MOD which is the dog bone and they're around $10 each. Have another little sterling bracelet marked 925 Italy. And then I've got three chains and they are um, marked IBB, Sterling, Italy. It weighs 10.3 grams. That's the top one. The middle one uh, is 11 grams. And the third one is 41 grams. And it says M-I-L-A-R. And it is, it is really quite hefty. The last thing is um, I double-checked this hammered bracelet that I showed you earlier. There is no mark on it anywhere, and I've tested it again, and it is absolutely not sterling. So just wanted to let you all know. If you have any information and knowledge to share with me, I'd love it. Um, please press like, and I would love to get your subscription. I'm trying to get to um, 5,000 subscribers and would love to have you be one of those. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.